The road between Caldera and Nessus is long, twisting and potentially perilous. With bands of Nixhounds and Kugutis stalking the low-lying hills of the great and vast West Gash. There is next to no civilization between these two cities, no place to stop and rest, at least uh, that is, uh, not until now. For today's while the day is Salathrin Beacon by Marcond. The latest in a series of verticality inducing landmark mods by Marcond, uh, like the a Beacon of St. Realms, the Saver Spire, and the Talvani Ward Keepers, the Salathrin Beacon is just a, a simply beautiful new location for you to to just come across along the road between Caldera and Nissus, offering a natural stopping point for weary travellers along the winding road through the central and northern regions of the West Gash. Visible on the horizon from miles away, sitting atop a rocky outcropping, the Salathrin Beacon provides an objective for travellers to reach, adding that uh, sweet, sweet element of visual verticality to the landscape. Uh, now, as a note, uh, this does use, and in fact requires, uh, Malbogatraw's Rocky West Gash, a gorgeous verticality-inducing landscape overhaul for the entire West Gash region, as the Southern Beacon actually uses a rock formation uh, placed by Malbogatraw's mod. Uh, there's, uh, th there's quite a few different versions of Rocky West Gash out there, uh, you know, just due to various compatibility edits including Marcon's own aggressively compatible version. But regardless of which one you use, uh, they should all work with Southern Beacon. And uh, I, I must say, this is just, this is an excellent utilization of how Bogotraw's absolutely masterful landscape overhaul. Using these verticality-inducing rock formations to just to uh, further add landmarks to the game is just a, a simply fantastic idea and the Southern Beacon makes for an atmospheric addition to the skyline of the West Gash. Uh, albeit with just a, a rather precarious climb for any would-be visitors uh, seeking to reach the top and, uh, you know, partake in the respite that this way station offers. Uh, seriously, you know, you wouldn't, uh, you, you would want to watch your step up here as the fall would be rather painful. Uh, as, assuming you don't cast slow fall anyway, or levitation, but uh, anyway, uh, the beacon itself uses the simply superb uh, Velothi style lighthouse model created by M.W. Gek, originally seen and used in Secrets of the Crystal City, and uh, most recently for M.W. Gek's own mod of Avec Lighthouse. And I, I, I do, I do just love that we're seeing this model get a bit more use, uh, because it is just a rather fantastic addition to the Velothi tile set and it always makes for some just rather interesting landmarks in all the mods that we've seen, you know, we've seen it used in so far. But uh, going inside, uh, the interior here is a fairly simple two-story tower, with a lower level for taking a rest with some chairs to lay back in, or uh, maybe to dine at, and an upper level bar where you can buy just a variety of food and drinks, as well as gain access to the top of the Southern Beacon. Uh, which uh, just offers some just truly amazing views of the surrounding landscapes of the West Gash. Uh, overall, uh, this is just uh, this is simply just another positively beautiful and scenic landmark mod by Marcond, with a stunning use of verticality and an excellent addition to your game. But uh, that's just uh, you know that's just our mod of the day. So uh, as always, uh, I've been your host, our golf guy. Uh, thanks for watching. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Happy modding, and I'll just, I'll uh, see you all next time.